Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So I have a brand new collection, it's called the Perpetual Calendar and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the calendar die set. So it comes, uh, you make these two little cubes here, I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail photos and the papers I'm going to be using today are from Travel Keepsakes, one of my most favourite paper pads, I keep coming back to this one and I'm going to be using these papers here. These are travel papers However, you can use some of these for nautical themes and I have used these for nautical themes as well as traveling theme as well. So I'm gonna be using that. And I'm also going to be using the set that goes with the calendar die set. Now this one is called the Numbers and Months die set. So it has all of these um, letter, words of the month there for the whole year. And then we have these numbers here. And because we're gonna be adding these onto cubes, we've even put on the back here, well, not this side on the main instructions here i know i know it's on one of them here we have the um where you're going to be putting the numerals as well for each cube because that can be confusing trying to work that out and then i would also like to have a draw at the bottom of my calendar this is completely optional it will work completely fine with just these two but if you want to build up and add some drawers underneath you will also be needing the rectangle treat draw die set as well. Okay, so let's have a quick look inside the die set. Okay, so you get nine pieces in here. Let's get all of these out here and you have a choice. You have some choices here for square or circle for your cube. Now I've die cut everything out already, so I'll be going through each die as I move along. So I'm just gonna set these up here. So that's going to do your cube. This is going to do the base and the sides. And we have some mats here for the intricate, uh, not intricate, but for the shaped side. So you can cut four of those. So you have one for the inside, one for the outside. And then we have this die here that is going to make these little rectangle boxes here. Um, you can make those for the months of the year. So you need to do three of those. And here we have a mat that's going to fit inside there. And it's also stitched too. And then for the cube, we have these two here so you can choose a circle for your background or the square so I've gone for square but circle will look just as fab and here we have a shaped mat to match the ornate top of the calendar too okay so I'm just going to set these aside because I may just have to grab some of these as I go along just to show you what I'm doing let's pop everything over there Okay, so first off, you're going to die cut one of these. And I have everything here already done. So one of those, and then you just fold up all of your score lines and you can assemble it together just like that. So add glue to the bottom tabs here and then pop that together. Before I do that, I want to decorate it first. It's a lot easier decorating things whilst they're still flat. So I'm just gonna grab my glue. I'm gonna be using Cosmic Shimmer today. And again, I've used the, um, the papers there from the travel collection. Like I said, we have a nautical theme going for this one because I do have a nautical stamp set and an outline die set to um, die cut those shapes out, which I will be showing you towards the end of the video. So if you want to see that, die, that uh, stamp set and die set, make sure you tune in all the way to the end. Okay, so I've die cut four of these, so two of each side. So they are reversible, so I'm going to glue those on there. And then I will be right back once this has been put together to show you the next step. Okay, if you want to, you can cut another rectangle here just to cover that if you wish. If you don't want these to be too visible, just glue them so that the tabs are underneath there and then they won't be visible if you don't want to do a mat for that section. Now this reminds me of some sort of bench or sleigh. So 
if you do get this die set and get creative in making other things with this I would absolutely love to see what you make with this because this is reminding me of a Santa sleigh like the bench part so I'm sure you can come up with something so if you make anything with that let me know okay so moving on we're going to be moving on to this cube now so you're going to be needing to cut two of these because this will fit two cubes and I have one prepared already here it is and again it's done all of the score lines just give those a good fold you can use a bone folder if you want as well and then what I'm going to do is put all of the mats on again before I actually put this together and you can also use this box as as a gift box if you wish so if it's someone's birthday or if it's a Christmas countdown or anything like that as some sort of special day you can turn these cube boxes into a gift box so you would start gluing together this side first so that you would end up with something that looks like this so imagine that's glued together and then here you have a gift box and you can tuck that in and have an opening gift box so it's perfect for those special days but I'm going to make just an ordinary closed box for this one and then I'm just going to add all of my mats and it's best to add the numbers after you have actually put the cube together because I kind of want all of my numbers facing going round in the same direction and not, not none upside down and it's a lot easier to do that once the cube has been put together there's absolutely no need in giving your brain extra work to do okay so I'm just adding on the last one and I forgot to mention that you need to die cut six of these and as you can see it has the stitched detail as well it's harder to see on the pattern side but if you were to use planar papers you would definitely see that stitching okay so let's get ready to assemble so remember if you wanted to have this as an open box don't add any glue to this these sides here only add glue to this side there and then that will close just like that but we're not doing that today right that is our box put together right so we're going to be moving over now to the months box so let's pop those in there and this is what we're going to be making I have two already prepared let's just pop that no I'm gonna go straight to gluing so you need to die cut three of these I've used 300 GSM white cardstock and this is working really well it's lovely and sturdy and look I've already prepared myself today I've added some red tape and I've cut one extra of these actually as well I don't need five right so this is going to take four of these mats here let's get that die so you can see it here we go four of these for each one so you need to die cut 12 so die cut all 12 at the same time and then before I pop it together I'm going to glue it glue all these down and then once I have my cubes I'm going to add my months of the year and it's a really pretty font as well they look really nice once they're on there and I'll be adding those on after I've popped this box together okay so now we're ready to put that together let's take that off we go so we now have something that looks like this and yes you can turn this into a tiny little um, gift box as well I do have some smarties over to my side I have a pack that I haven't opened yet I did have another one but I ate those so I'm gonna have to open a new pack 
Okay, so I've got one closed end there. Let's give that a little press in. Again, you can use red tape if you want to. And then this could be your opening end like that. So let's see if some Smarties, I reckon I could get some Smarties. Yeah, I ate those. Let's see if we can get some in here. Oh yes, we can fit some Smarties in there. So you could really fill this calendar with treats when it's someone's birthday. And again, if you have um, five people in your family, this would make the perfect advent calendar. So two people would have to take it in turns on what day they get the larger boxes. But yep, you can fit some Smarties in there. Can fit probably about that many. That's probably a good handful there. Okay, but I'm going to glue this shut. I'm going to be boring today and I'm going to glue this shut. So, um, I think if I was to make one for celebrations and birthdays, I would probably choose some lovely, bright, vibrant, bright, colourful rainbow paper for my calendar. Okay, so we now have that. Oh no, <laughs> I've glued in some Smarties. Okay, so we now have a Ratley calendar. There we go, some Maraca. Okay, let's pop those on. And this is really coming together now. So we're gonna be moving on to the box. Now this is an optional extra. I'm just gonna grab my ruler because we're moving on to another die set now. So let me grab the die set that I've moved on to. So this is the rectangle treat draw die set. And as you can see, we have this extra one here. Now this is for gluing in a drawer into the inside of a gift bag, and it would attach by gluing this flap here on the inside to kind of glue it onto the edge of the paper or the, the, the gift bag side. But we don't need it. We don't need this section for what we're doing today. So let's grab a craft knife. I've got my line here. It may be difficult for you to see. I'll try not to get my head in the way. But I'm just going to cut that off. If you want to use a paper trimmer, you can do. There we go. And remember, you're cutting off the shorter side. We're keeping this longer side here. So right, let's score all the score lines. And then we can glue this together. Now this this does actually come together pretty fast. Um, as long as you've like you know done all your die cutting. Once you've done all that, as with any project, if you've done all your die cutting first, assembly is a really good and nice easy stretch. I'm getting dry bits of glue everywhere. Okay, so that is now glued down. This folds in. Okay, so now we have the insert for our drawer. That is going to fit perfectly under there. And then let's grab the die set again. To make the drawer, um, all you have to do is die cut one of these, and I have a handle here already, and I've put the front on already, so I've, I've pre-made this one. It's basically a very simple construction. I'm sure you've all made a box before. So that is going to slot straight into there. So again, you can if you're more than a family of five, if you're a family of six or seven or eight, you can just add the drawers. Probably make a really tall one, a drawer for each person. Right, so I've die cut the handle out of white and my numbers are going to be white as well. And um, I think the months of the year, I think I'm going to stick with white as well. Then we can decorate, which will be in a different video, using the nautical die set. So I'm just pushing this up here. 
and holding down. Take your time with this. I'm just being quick for the video here. I just need to um, unpop that out so I can get some pressure just like that. There we go. I'm going to set that aside to dry now. So all I have to do now is glue that onto there. That is going to look really nice as a stack of drawers. So we, all we have to do now are the numbers and the months of the year. So let's grab that die set. Oops. This is the numbers and months die set and I'm now going to have to count my numbers uh, my uh, months of the year to make sure I haven't lost any. Oh, there's one on the floor already. Okay, so I've run the numbers through twice and the months of the year once. And yes, I counted them. I have all 12. I did lose one on the floor, but I found it. Um, I need to be less clumsy, I think. Okay, so that's all done now. Oh, oh no, those two didn't go through because they were in the middle. So I popped them here and they were fine. Okay, let's move that over there. Okay, I'm going to put all these over to the side now. Okay, so all of these are going to now be glued onto our cubes. So again, refer back to the die set. Let's try not to make a mess this time. Just here we have the numbers for each cube. So I'm just going to pop that aside while I glue on all of the numbers and you will end up with leftover numbers. Don't worry about that. You can keep them, keep a little box full of old numbers and things like that because they are really useful. You can even just cover a birthday card with random numbers all over. That's a really nice, quick and easy birthday card to make as well. Okay, so I've got all of my numbers according to what it says on the back of my um, box there. And you may notice that there is no number nine instructed to be added onto these boxes. It's because the number six doubles up as a six and a nine. However, in the um, numbers, you get a six and a nine as well, because we wanted you to have a complete number die, die set there. Okay, so let's pop those in there. There we go. Now we can move on and work on our months of the year. So it's literally simply just popping these on and I'm going to do them in month order. So I have January, I'll turn it and do February as well. So it's all going to be in those four. And then the easiest way I find to do this is just to add glue just to the top of your hand and you'll just have to top it up every now and then and then you will dab it in very gently and then pop that on there we go so now we can move over to February here it is I'm putting these on quite centrally and I wouldn't put anything bulky like beads or buttons on the ends of these because they are to be stacked in there quite flat um, it will create create a bit of a bump if you um, add bulky embellishments but anything flat would would work nicely if you wanted to add something either side so let's pop on April Okay, so I've got all of my boxes done, one that rattles. Okay, so let's pop these in now. So I'm filming this actually in December. So let's pop that there. So the next one will be January. And then I'm just going to make this easy for switching the days over. And let's pop those in there. Isn't that really nice? I absolutely love that. Um, I actually quite like it undecorated. So. 
but I'm not sure if I want to add anything to this, but I should do really. Okay, so here is the drawer underneath, so let's get that glued on. And again, I'm gonna die cut, so I'm gonna manually cut some side panels out of the same patterned paper for there, for the sides. Okay, so there is our draw perpetual calendar with the draw completed. I might put all my spare numbers in here just so I don't lose them. There we go, but perfect for popping in treats. Okay, so I did say that at the end of the video that I will show you the stamp set that will go with this collection. Now this is also part of the perpetual calendar die set. However, it is going to... Um, go with card making, mini album making, and it comes as a bundle. Here it is, I have these together here. So this is the Nautical A5 die, stamp, die set, uh, stamp set, and the Nautical die set as well. So these are the dies that it cuts out. And in my video, I'll be showing you how to make really quick and easy images using a stamping platform, how you can get all of these images done super fast and that will be in the stamping video. Okay, and it also comes with this little belly band here around there. I thought I'd keep that as well, so it does come as a duo. Okay, so that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and all the links for these, uh, everything that I've used today will be listed down below, and I really hope you enjoy this new perpetual calendar for the new year. So thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you again next time.